good morning so in our last class we understood what is ticket all about and how exactly we can implement a ticket within a workflow is something which we understood we implemented that and we saw how exactly from one assignment the execution or the control in the process jumps to a later assignment based on how you have configured the ticket we understood that perfect so today we'll be going ahead and understanding much in detail with respect to flows today's class will be focused on the types of flows which are present in pega types of flows in pega today's class will be focused on types of flows in pega so what are the different types of flows in pega so pega provides something called as process flows which we have been developing the customer flow the insurance flow which we are working on is a process flow in the same way there is something called as a screen flow there is also something called as a subflow we will see what are these first we will have to understand what are process flows and screen flows to do that let us first try to revisit what our process flow looks like right we did develop all the flows which we have created so far are process flows let's try to verify that let's go back into our dev studio and then verify that i'm switching my app and then let me go to So one major thing which we saw with our process flows was whatever flows we have been creating so far, we are able to create a work object with this flow, yes or no? Were we able to create a work object with the flow which we have created so far? Under process category in my work class, I can find the flows which I have created. For example, the customer flow which we created. Let's take a look at that. So this is the customer flow which we have we have created this flow is a process flow how do we know by default when you try to create a flow within pega it create creates a process flow also a very big indicator of that is under the process category we have created creates a new work object only a process flow can create a work object for you can create a work object for you and the flow actions are configured on the connectors yes or no we have configured flow actions on the connectors though this is the assignment the flow action has been configured on the connector yes or no guys also you can have multiple flow actions on this from one assignment you can have multiple flow actions in a process flow you can have multiple connectors leaving one flow action in a process flow there are three types of flows process flow screen flow and subflow we have been designing process flows so far how do we know this is a process flow you can create a work object out of this flow you can add flow actions on connectors also you can have multiple flow actions on this as part of this particular flow you can have multiple flow actions for example i can click on this and i can have one other flow action for example if i have to connect to this assignment i can come with that flow action and i can connect that i can have multiple connectors to this flow action does it make sense see connector 1 and connector 2 two connectors i have let me delete this so this is what will help me distinguish between screen flow and process flow right now i'm talking about what all you can do with respect to a process flow 
flow action name can be given on the connector and of course you can create a work object as part of a process flow see creates a work object perfect routing is possible on each and every assignment each and every assignment can be routed to someone see routing is enabled on each and every assignment these are the features of process flow this entire flow is considered as one transaction yes or no it creates one work object that is the entire transaction however it has multiple steps or tasks and people involved it jumps from this task to this task and then that goes to a different person here and from here it is going to a different person here that way multiple people are involved multiple steps and tasks are involved in this thing also something which we can do is from this process flow you can call other flows if you see this flow shapes there is a icon for you know a shape which we will be using to call other flows which is this thing the sub flow or sub process which you have mentioned here is nothing but something which can be called using this shape see if i click on that it should get added here see and if i double click on this thing i can configure what is that flow which you want to call from here you can call a process flow from a process flow you can call a screen flow from a process flow see and i open the configuration for that thing i see what do you want to call process flow or screen flow you can call a process flow from a process flow using this shape also you can call a screen flow using this shape we'll be using this just showing you the characteristics or properties of a process flow helping you understand there are no different types of process flow there is one only one type of process flow and then it has a moment for example it moves from new harness in the start to perform and to confirm in the end like that it moves like that and this is the starting flow when your work object gets initiated this will be your starting flow the flow from where the execution starts will be your process flow it is always a process flow does it make sense yes okay and one thing what we have seen is if you see when we create a work object here let me create a work object i don't have this thing create perfect can i go back to that first screen from here is there a back button or anything which helps me go back no no so in process flow there is it's only unidirectional you can only keep going ahead you can't come back there is no back to get back there is no option but if you see most of the applications today and Uh, for example could be amazon ordering or anything you do have a back button where you can come back or you know click and click back and you can go back to that screen in process flows you can't do that process flows are unidirectional only front navigation your key you keep proceeding ahead see submit you go to the next assignment can't come back so these are some features of process flow you can utilize of course all the shapes here in process flow you can use all these shapes basic these are some basic shapes advanced shapes also you can use here no issues perfect did we understand what are the features of process flow of yes. course right what can we do let's note it down flow first thing can add work object second thing what we saw multiple connectors and flow action configured on connector 
not on assignment we saw this we saw this also routing on each assignment each assignment you can be it can be routed we saw it we can call process flows flow or screen flow from a process flow we saw that we saw we included the sub process shape and we saw that also what we have seen uh, it's a starter flow it's a this is how the work object gets started so it is a starter flow also something which we saw is only has front navigation you can't come back we saw that also and you can use all sort of shapes there these are some high level points which will help you understand what is a process flow similarly the next thing which we will be seeing is screen flow let us understand what is a screen flow first let us say for example we have vishwas here okay let us say vishwas is heading out to the market okay and on the way he also has to visit a hardware place to get some nails to fulfill some task also he has to go to a pharmacy to pick up some medicine so can i say that single user is going to perform all these three tasks going to market picking up nails from hardware store and also visiting a pharmacy to pick up medicine when a single user is doing all these tasks then we go for something like a screen flow what does that mean this is a flow where you it won't be adding a work object it won't add a work object it won't create a work object you can't create a work object using this flow first thing and only okay the that is one thing first thing you can't create a work object second thing is flow action is configured on assignment the green color rectangle on that assignment and not on connector it is configured on assignment and not on connector of course we will be creating this and we will be understanding i'm just explaining you the features first here we already had created so i showed you that and talked about the features here i am going to talk about the features first and then we'll be seeing this in action flow action is configured in the on assignment and not on the connector very important and only one flow action you can specify unlike process flow in process flow you can have multiple connectors which means multiple flow actions that's what this point means perfect and you can't route every assignment in screen flows you can't route every assignment you can only route the entire screen flow in the sense we can assign which because vishwas is going there all these three tasks can only be done by him the, at the start we can assign it to vishwas or whoever is going to that particular area he will be doing the entire task and this can be routed only during the start in between the assignment we can't change that so at the start only we can do that we'll see that this also i'll be showing that okay so this entire thing will be considered as one transaction it won't be considered as you know multiple hops there are no multiple hops so only one transaction it will be considered as one transaction we'll see that also and uh, this has multiple types also like you know there are different types of screen flows one is i think the tabbed 
in the uh, tabbed screen flow and there is a tree navigation uh, i guess tree navigation tabbed and one more is uh, i think perform screen flow we'll see these also so there are three types of screen flows which are i mean based on how the user interface wants the ui to look like we'll be designing that we'll see that the very important factor about screen flows is you get back and forth navigation you can go front and you can come back in a flow to achieve such sort of implementation you will be going for screen flows we will be going for screen flows and we don't have access to advanced shapes here yeah. uh, access to advanced shapes uh, i mean this is not really critical but just know that you won't be able to access that ideally the takeaway from today's this thing is understanding what are process flows what are screen flows and when would you go for screen flows or process flows uh, in a given application so let us say in the given process flow if like this if we keep increasing the assignments or you know the task in a given transaction in a work object don't you think this these green color assignments will increase so much that it will be too hard for someone to understand yes or no like if you keep adding assignments like this it becomes too complex like just right now you will have like you have one two three four five six six assignments already here like this let us say if the process has more such steps every small step we will have to add an assignment because that is a task which has to be completed by user this particular flow to read becomes really challenging do we agree let us say if there are hundred uh, assignments like this where uh, the user is hopping from screen by screen to different areas to fill some details don't you think this flow will become too complex to understand yes no when we visualize or see there is common functionality between assignments and there are too many shapes getting added to a flow then we go for screen flows why so that that common functionality can be put in one screen flow because that has to be completed by one particular user because Vishwas is already going to that area i want to club all the tasks which are to be done in that area to one particular user and that can be done inside a screen flow we'll be using screen flow for such scenarios in our cover current uh, requirement let us say the customer info the transaction info and the personal vehicle info or auto vehicle details all these three tasks are performed by the same user admin at alpha yes or no he is doing this three tasks at last information is when we are routing it do we agree right yes no guys yes, yes. right so let us say this three tasks can be performed by the same user so okay why we can think of you know putting this in one screen flow where one user will be doing all these three tasks and then we will be eliminating these three assignments from here and we'll be replacing that with one screen flow that is something which we want to do today today we want to understand how exactly a screen flow can be included inside a process flow and what how does it help it help us in simplifying our workflow and also how does it add value to our you know process design that is something which we'll be trying to understand so in this current flow what we are trying to what we are trying to do is we want to like you know streamline this and these three steps are something which a user is doing a single user is doing so i want to club this why because as we told in a screen flow only one you if one user is doing multiple steps we can club them and put it in one particular flow which is a screen flow let's try to see that uh, to do that what i will do of course we will visualize our current existing flow along with that what i will try to do let's create a screen flow and verify how exactly we can make those changes um, okay same thing to create a flow you have to click right click on process category the screen flows also roll up under the process category click create and then click on flow okay 
and then let us call it something like user screen flow user two perfect now before you save do you see a view additional configuration options here when you create a flow after you give the name there is a button right exactly below a link exactly below the label which is called additional configuration options click on that and then you will see these three radio options radio buttons are we able to verify this guys yes here you will have to choose standard template for screen flows standard template for screen flows all i have done is right clicked on process category create a flow gave a name and then chosen standard template for screen flows create and open by default this gives us a assignment few things to compare here this is a screen flow you see let me check this out let's try to compare this flow with our process flow screen flow customer flow Let's try to click on this start ship configuration first. Let's compare. I have clicked on the start shape of the screen flow. What do we see here? It tells what do we start when we start. It's telling you are going to display a harness. Here, when I try to compare this thing with the customer flow, if I open this. Do we see some difference here, guys? This is the start shape of process flow, the customer flow. Start shape of customer flow, which is a process flow. This is the start shape of user screen flow, which is a screen flow. See? Also, something we are seeing is there is a routing option during the start of the flow. This is where you will be telling Vishwas, hey, you will be completing all those tasks because you are go heading that way. However, on customer and in the process flow, there is no such routing available. This is your first indicator to understand whether it is a screen flow or a process flow. Making sense, guys? Yes. Yes. No. Of course, when you create, you are picking screen flow there, right? From the advanced configuration, you are picking screen flow. You know that it is advanced. It's a screen flow. When you go into application, which is already created, you won't know. How will you understand? You will click on the start shape. If you see routing there, you understand that this is a screen flow. Perfect. So by default, Pega gave me a screen flow with one assignment here. Also something which we told as part of this discussion was, the flow action can be specified on the assignment. Yes or no? See? However, in the process flow, we did it on the connectors. On these connectors is where we specified the flow action. Do we agree? See, here there are no properties for connector in a screen flow. These are some indicators which will tell you this is a screen flow. So what do you want to do? We are trying to streamline this customer flow and we want to create, we want to, the initial three steps have to be performed by a single user. So we want to club that into a screen flow. To do that, let us try to modify this existing flow to include those three steps. Let me delete this guy. Don't want this assignment. Of course, there are three assignments which I want to include here. Let me include, include three assignments, which one will be for delete three assignments I need three assignments and a decision shape why because I am trying to replicate this piece one two three four these three these four steps I want to remove from here I want to put it in a screen flow 
that's how we are going to reduce the clutter in my existing process flow we are adding this to a screen flow that's what we are trying to do let me remove that and let me add those changes here let me add the decision shape also perfect this decision shape should be linked to this guy perfect now on this decision what are we doing if you go back and understand here we are checking if the customer exists right see here we are checking if the customer exists you can copy the same uh, expression there or you can build it there I'll copy it control C and then go to user screen flow double click here and then this is a decision which we are trying to make so it is an expression boolean expression and control v if you want to validate it you can just click on this build expression this should open your expression which you can verify okay test false here where whatever you pass based on that it will return true so it is valid perfect no issues we are able to use this guy our decision is ready okay so it comes out with true and false two connectors let me delete this default connector as soon as I gave those details it gave me two connectors which is true when it's true what path it's going to take Similarly, when it's false, or a connector got added, instead of result, I will do else here, like we did there. Submit. If true this, if false this. So these connectors have to be connected to something. Yes or no? Let us move this slightly far to redesign. Let me move one assignment here. Let me remove the other guy next to that perfect and if we don't have a customer id then i want to yeah if i don't have a customer id i want to search for it this is where my customer details uh, search will be configured in the same way if i do have I want to proceed further to transaction or whatever is the assignment let's see that false okay this is completed now let us add flow actions right where can we add flow actions in a screen flow guys on assignment on assignment ship double click this compare and know what is the flow action which comes here if I come here close this guy I know that the flow action which comes here is customer info see customer flow action let us go and add that there it was on a connector here it is on the shape of customer data on the assignment shape customer data is flow action makes sense guys are we able to understand yes, yes. perfect so let us do the same thing for other two assignments from here this gets connected to this guy right after you provide the details again it comes here here we will have the transaction flow action let us go and pick the transaction flow action where do i have transaction flow action perfect done also what is this from here this guy gets connected to this assignment this is my auto vehicle flow action or personal vehicle flow action personal vehicle fa let's change the flow action name fa 
right this is that assignment this is my transaction flow action transaction flow action and this is my customer details first details fa perfect see as simple as that of course we have to link it to the end here perfect we were able to like you know replicate or remove the steps which were there in customer flow and recreate that here as a screen flow yes or no guys have we done that yes or no yes let us say this has this task has to be performed by a specific user i can add routing where can i route a screen flow guys how can i add routing to a screen flow on start shape. start shape start on the start shape double click on the start shape you will see you can perform routing here let us say a specific user is doing i don't want current operator i want this to be routed to a specific user to the work you know i'll say custom and i'll say work list of let us say there is an alpha user which we created to current operator work list of let us say to work list let us say let me choose to work list and i can pass a parameter this parameter is nothing but the operator to whom you want to route it there is a user at alpha right there is a user at alpha let me say i want to route this to this guy Make sense guys we have done this sort of routing before also have we yes we did it on process flow here we are doing it in a screen flow perfect let me submit this guy so our screen flow is ready our screen flow is ready save this perfect now we have to remove the stuff from here right which we are not going to utilize we want to remove it all i can do is i can modify the same flow or i can save as this so that i can keep the changes for to verify something else okay i'll tell it work in progress i'll save this and i'll save as this and then i'll modify this particular customer flow how do i save as just click on save as save to the different name customer flow to is what i'll call it create and open here we have to customize this flow what should we do we don't want those steps here don't want this guy i don't want this true don't want this guy either don't want this guy either don't want this guy either don't want this guy either. 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 We don't any don't need any of that. All we need here is should be able to include that particular screen flow. Yes or no? How can we do that? Go to this shapes palette and pull out a sub process flow. And then on this thing, call your subflow, sorry, screen flow. How can I do that? When I pull that, the sub process shape, and then click on, on the configuration, click on screen flow. Just see if the name is popping up. Is it coming, guys? Yes? yes. No? Perfect. Just click on user screen flow. This is the screen flow which we have configured. Or created submit link this guy to this guy perfect bring this guy here Oh, 
perfect bring this guy here do we remember how our flow was leaking before this thing yes or no guys yes delete delete see were we not able to declutter it and simplify it much further yes no yes we are able to call the screen flow from a process flow from a process flow we are able to call a screen flow how we included the sub process shape from the shapes palette double click on it to see the configuration in choose screen flow here and we are able to call a user screen flow how can you call a screen flow from a process flow will be the question do we know how can we call that now yes no perfect save this guy i would say check in perfect we checked it in now for testing purpose we'll also log in into the other portal for to see what the user has local host user at alpha this is the guy with user portal he has three work items right now see last whatever approval we had sent perfect now let us create a work object there and come and verify what happens here actions run actions and run let us say create this next step has been routed appropriately do we see the routing kicking in here perfect let's go and check in the other user if this has been routed 210 hyphen 2 is the work object came here let's refresh sorry see am i able to see the task guys yes 210 hyphen 2 is this the work object which we created there go back and verify 210 hyphen 2 yes it is pending on the customer details flow action user screen flow to do user screen flow has to be initiated is what it is saying let us go back here and click on go why this is coming on top is because see sla has kicked in they know this is a high priority task that is why you are seeing this in top of his work list does it make sense yes sir. yes perfect click on this guy and then you should be able to is there anything checked out of course see the user screen flow is in checkout which is why we are seeing that issue check in this guy first done now if i refresh this case or if i say go it should take me through are we able to see the flow here guys from alpha user we are yeah. able to perform that also something if you see we told vishwas has gone for market he should go to the market pick up the stuff also he should be picking up the nails from the hardware store and he should be picking stuff from pharmacy you see this processing straight through processing 
where you are seeing a breadcrumb of what all has to be completed. Didn't we see a similar thing when we were looking at the progressive insurance screen, guys? Also, something which we have to understand here is, let us say we give some details here and proceed further. Continue. taking a while so from our process flow we called this subflow right and then we saw that the subflow the screen the screen flow was called along with that we also saw that the task also got routed to that particular user It's taking some time let it take no problem meanwhile what we will do we'll also try to remove the routing and test it once the routing is specified on the start shape here to do the change i will have to check it out current operator i want the same operator to convey complete it we have seen tabbed screen flow let us see what other is there um, there is something called tree navigation let us see that also tree navigation seven let me check that just trying to show you what all different uh, screen flows are there you yeah. know let us see if it proceed it is stuck i think the work object card stuck that's okay we'll try to understand without the routing no worries actions let's create another work object and see how exactly this thing is working create now it should take you through the screen flow here only are we able to see tree navigation guys Yes. yes that was tabbed screen flow because you have tabs you can click on those tabs this is tree tree navigation depending upon what your customer wants in the screen flow you can choose that at the start of the shape and the same thing will reflect in your flow now we can provide the values and proceed click continue i will keep it blank only no worries see are we getting a back button to go back to the previous screen guys Yes. Didn't we tell that in screen flow we have that capability? This is what we, that we mean when we say tabbed, so, sorry, the back front and back navigation. See, it also tells you where you are in the flow. This gives the user also a context where exactly he is trying to modify a change. If you open Amazon also, you will see a tree structure like this where you will be able to understand where exactly you are in the process of purchase. Are you on shipping and labeling section? Are you in payment section? Or wherever you are. Where your product is also something which you will be seeing. It is here, left the inventory, or in the warehouse. Wherever it is, you will be able to see that. 
the same way you can continue further see all these three assignments we have clubbed it and added to personal to the screen flow yes or no from here it has to be routed to the flow has to come back to the main flow which is our customer flow finish and the control comes back to your customer flow yes or no see loss information where is it in customer flow it has gone back to customer flow if you see the history you'll be able to understand that does it make sense guys yes okay you can come continue this again because the current operator has access to this he will be able to continue this submit see again this got routed because we are routing it to a queue the approval info can be done in a queue and see due in three minutes it is a also associated with we can com complete that also because this particular user will have access you can say approve submit did we understand what is a screen flow and process flow guys yes no perfect very good also there are some other configurations for example on the user screen flow sorry in the customer flow we can also tell if we want to spin off this flow in the sense right now if you see the flow is in such a way that only after the screen flow is completed you can come back to this flow so i haven't checked out when can i fill in the loss loss information guys only when this particular details are complete yes or no when the sub process sub process is complete the screen flow is complete do we agree when will the loss information be available for the user to fill only after these three things are complete Yes or no? Let us say you are cooking a grand uh, dish in your home. Sometimes there is a dependency for grocery. For example, if you are making a grand dish in your home and then you are trying to make biryani, there is a dependency on meat. Until the meat comes, you can't you know, prepare the biryani. However, chopping the stuff can be done while the meat is coming. Yes or no? Sorry, chopping the vegetables can be done while the meat is going to come. If preparing biryani is a work object, in that work object you are designing your workflow in such a way that, for example, if someone is going to fetch the groceries, let us say he is going to get the meat, parallelly you can complete the chopping of vegetables. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Such sort of processes are there in day-to-day -day life also for example when you're trying to do if you are doing some construction while someone is making the mortar the concrete other people can fetch the bricks and put it where the supply is needed yes or no same thing is true in it also when you're trying to design your workflow while you're going to go for the loan for example if you're going to fetch a loan from a bank your background check is a parallel process which they can initiate yes or no Yes. Do we agree? To do such task, for example, let us say this is a background check task which is getting initiated. We can say spin off a flow from here. When the checkbox is selected, we can complete the process flow first. I mean, in the sense, the main flow which is there, we can complete that first. Later, you can take care of this. Does it make sense? If this is not checked, you have to go into this sub process flow, complete this, only then you can continue on this main flow. If you see here, there is a checkbox on your sub process shape, which is called as spin off flow. Are we able to see that, guys? Yes. This process this check helps you to do this stuff parallelly. Make makes your process asynchronous in the sense. Currency, you see this fork coming out here. What this means is you can continue on this flow 
without completing this sub process you can go ahead let us say this is routed to sorry routing has to be specified on that guy or let us try without routing let us see what does it have to offer save save this guy so this should this should let us proceed on this process flow without completing the screen flow in the sense the screen flow can continue on its own do you see this guys here both these can be done parallelly there is no dependency you can go and fetch the meat parallelly i will be cutting the chopping off the vegetables does it make sense yes no yes yes so i can parallelly complete the last information details you will be having question when you are be answering the flows they will be asking what do you mean by spin off it's nothing but for example if i go to a loan uh, to fetch a loan from a bank and background processing is a parallel step which is uh, which is a part of that particular process they can initiate that but that shouldn't stop my application from going ahead yes or no see just have to check the spin off option on the sub process shape configuration in your process flow are we able to understand guys yes process flow and screen flow very important also you can change the different screen flows on the start shape of this particular screen flow you can route from here on the assignments you can specify flow actions on connectors you can't specify flow actions in a screen flow we saw all that today did we yeah okay that is what i had for today if that has been conveyed properly to you i think uh, that is a really good understanding with respect to flows process flow screen flow using a sub process shape you can call them we did that today yes or no you can't create a work object with screen flow only with process flow did we see that yes no process yes. flows yes. are ideally the starter flows okay they are the starter flows they start from there you can take it further you can call a sub process and you can declutter your flow to look much simpler and easy to understand if you want to spin off it parallelly you have to just check the spin off flow button and then it will spin off parallelly and you can complete your tasks were we able to do it today guys yes no yes very good yes. thank you thank you for making for the class today and practice well i hope you have a really good saturday thank you thanks bye thank you thanks for the session bye